We continue this evening in our uh, series, Great Characters of the Bible. Great Characters of the Bible. Uh, day before yesterday, we posted one about David, the great king. Uh, the Bible calls him the man after God's own heart, David. And then this evening, we posted one on the Apostle Paul. Paul uh, called the world's greatest missionary. Uh, and uh, later this evening, now we're going to post uh, one on young Timothy. Young Timothy, uh, a trusted, committed servant of the Lord. Young Timothy. Uh, three things quickly about young Timothy. Uh, Timothy trusted the Lord Jesus committedly. Uh, he had a genuine conversion experience. Um, the Apostle Paul wrote uh, to Timothy these words. He said, I greatly desire to see you, that I may be filled with joy. That I may be filled with joy when I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in you. He said, when I think about your commitment to the Lord Jesus and the trust that you have, the genuine faith, he called it. Uh, I'll be filled with joy, as he writes to young Timothy. He had come to trust the Lord Jesus Christ committedly. He had a commitment to the Lord. And, uh, and secondly, uh, Timothy came to know the Lord early. Not only was he uh, committed to the Lord uh, wholly, but he came to know the Lord early. Uh, he'd served with Paul on the mission field, and Paul had seen him uh, there on the mission field, and he learned uh, the old veteran missionary's respect, this young servant of God. And in one of his letters to Timothy, uh, Paul spoke of this genuine faith. And uh, he refers to uh, Timothy's grandmother, Lois, uh, as uh, where that faith first dwelt. And then Timothy's mother, Eunice, he said it was first in your grandmother Lois and then in your mother Eunice. And, uh, and now I'm persuaded in you also. Uh, the grandmother had passed it on to Eunice the daughter. And in turn, Eunice the daughter, and I suppose the grandmother too, uh, had had uh, a great hand in leading young uh, Timothy to the Lord Jesus at an early age. Uh, the Bible says uh, in Ecclesiastes, the wise Solomon wrote uh, that uh, uh, a young man should come to the Lord uh, uh, young uh, uh, before the evil days come. Uh, and uh, when the heart's tender, that's the time to come to the Lord. Uh, before we get older and our heart gets harder and the world has a greater sway on us. Uh, it's wonderful to win an, an old timer to the Lord Jesus. We win a soul to Christ, but when you win a young person to the Lord, uh, you not only win a soul, but you also win a life. And that was the case with young Timothy. He was serving Christ as a young man, uh, a young servant of the Lord with the Apostle Paul. Uh, not only had he trusted Christ committedly, not only had he come to know the Lord early, but he served the Lord faithfully. Uh, None of this hit and miss stuff for Timothy. He served the Lord committedly, faithfully. Uh, Paul said, I trust in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to you, writing to the church at Philippi uh, that needed help. And, and Paul says, uh, I have no one else like-minded, no one else I can trust to send who will sincerely care for you uh, uh, any more than Timothy. And he greatly recommended Timothy in uh, he said, the reason I'm sending Timothy is that so many of the others uh, seek their own uh, will and own things and not the things of the Lord Jesus Christ. But he went on to say, you know Timothy's proven character, that as a son with his father, he served with me in the gospel, served with Paul in getting out the gospel, in, uh, in uh, winning souls and, and in mission work. He had served with Paul. He'd proven himself to the Apostle Paul, this young man. What an example for any age uh, of servant of the Lord. Uh, I close this, this little illustration. Uh, only the old timers will probably remember Tommy Henrik uh, with the New York Yankees. Uh, back in the 40s, maybe early 50s, 
uh, he uh, was not a he's not a, a, a well known uh, a famous ball player, not a, a popular pitcher, uh, not a home run hitter, not uh, not uh, real speedy on the base path. He was an outfielder, but he was reliable. He was reliable. He was trustworthy. They called him old reliable, old reliable. Uh, when they needed him to come through, he could come through with that base hit. When he needed to come through with the play in the outfield, he could come through with it. Old reliable Tommy Henrik of the Yankees, dependable and reliable. And that was Timothy. Dependable, re reliable. Oh, how important that is in the Lord's work to be dependable, reliable, trustworthy. That was Timothy. May God help us, you and I, in our service for Christ, whatever age we are, whatever servant we are, whatever place we fill, whatever job we do for Christ, may God help us to be faithful, dependable, reliable, trustworthy to his cause. And may parents and grandparents raise up a legion of other young men like Timothy who'll be reliable, faithful, trustworthy, and serving the Lord Jesus. God bless you. I hope you know the Lord Jesus Christ. If you don't, uh, bow your head and ask the Lord to come into your heart and life and change you and give you eternal life and save you for Jesus' sake. And if you do know the Lord Jesus, I trust and pray that you and I will have a renewed commitment, sort of like Timothy's, to be reliable in serving God. God bless you. Amen.